Okay, so let's get our main menu set up. So go ahead and load the menu scene. And um, there is an issue here. It says main camera, it doesn't like that. So let's go ahead and clear that. And hopefully we won't have any problems. Now what we need to happen is, remember if we, when we did our level setup, uh, when you hit objective, uh, so you hit the flag, we had a saved string variable that uh, may, it's going to make it possible to when you select level one, when you set a new game, it, all these other games are going to be locked. All these levels are going to be locked until you beat the previous level. And again, these are super easy levels, but uh, we want that to be set up in our level select screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our menu level. So load your menu level, and we're going to go uh, find the prefab. Uh, in the project window, find the prefab menu level button. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new flow machine to that. And uh, we're going to create a new macro for that under our macros folder. We're going to create a new macro and we're going to call that menu level button. Oh, it doesn't like the My finger hit the slash there. Menu level button and hit enter. And um, we are going to give this a new string object variable called uh, called scene. And there's a reason for that. I'll explain that in a second. Scene. So add that. It is going to be a string. And we're going to call that level 1. So all these buttons are going to be level 1 right off the get-go. And we're going to fix that. So for each level button on the scene, uh, we need to uh, edit the scene variable to match the name on each one of these uh, buttons. So let's go into our uh, button, let's see where we at, canvas, is it under panel, buttons, level one. Okay, so you'll see that when we put on the, the menu level button, that's the prefab right there, they just dragged it in and changed the, the name of that but it's all the same they're all set to level one there's not supposed to be a space there sorry it's just level one no space and on level two we need it to say level two level three we need to say level three yeah level three and level four we need it to say level four so that all of those are working correctly now what we need to do is we're going to use the variable to determine which scene to load. So um, let's uh, get rid of these two things. We don't need that. So on button click, when you click this button, when you click yourself, level four, number four, uh, actually I think that's in the wrong spot in it. We need it in, yeah, there we go, main uh, menu level button. There we go. So we need to, when you click yourself, when something clicks you, uh, we need you to load scene. Which scene do we need you to load? Well, you're gonna go and get variable, get the object variable. What object variable? Well, we only have one. So what this is doing is whenever you click level one scene, go grab this scene from the object variable and the value is level one right and I believe that should still be the same for each one of those things I accidentally put a space there so now that I changed something it was like uh should we do that but yeah okay so load level on click and we're going to change that to green all right, so now we need to um, make it unavailable to click if it hasn't been unlocked. And we already kind of did most of the legwork for that, but the way that you do that is um, you're going to get variable, get the object variable. What object variable are we going to grab? We're going to grab scene. So get the scene value. And uh, from what I understand, a concat, at least this is my understanding, going to have two arguments in that, argument 0 and argument 1. Um, we're going to attach the string unlocked, underscore unlocked, to the end of 
your level so that we know in the save variable that it has been unlocked. So we're going to uh, has variable saved and get variable saved. Get save variable. The save variable are going to be right over here. And we'll check that in just a minute to make sure that works properly. So we're going to do both of this. We're going to, if it has the valuable value variable, excuse me, and get the variable uh, unlocked once you beat it, once it's been beaten. Because remember, we set that up when the objective is touched, it sets up level one unlock, level two unlock. So we're going to do both of these. So we're going to set up an and statement. So do A and B. A and B are now set interactable button. So, and we're going to run an update event. Every, set, every frame, we want that to happen. If it has been unlocked, we want it to unlock. Okay, and enable button when level unlocked. Wow, it's gonna be a long stream. All right, and we'll make that one, uh, why not? We'll make it look like that. I don't have any rhyme or reason behind that. I'm just doing it because I want to. So the initial save variable for new games, up until now, uh, when we started the level one scene, uh, you're not going to be able to see level one because level one has not been unlocked yet. You have to beat level one to get level one. That doesn't make any sense. What we'll do is we will create an initial save variable in our uh, sub-tabs of the initial uh, menu button. So let's go here. And we're going to do a new level one unlocked variable. And we're going to set that Boolean to true. So now it's been unlocked. And what we should see is if uh, when we do this game here in just a second, uh, that it should unlock the level one. And when we beat new levels, it should lock level two and level three and level four. Well, how do we make sure that that is going to happen. Well, we have to also set up first, when we click the new game button, that we want all these other buttons to be uninteractable until we beat those levels and just level one to be lit up. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go to our new game button. So let's save that real quick. New game button. And then we are going to set up another uh, flow machine. And we're going to embed that one. Uh, we're going to set it up on button click so when the new game button gets clicked we're going to set the saved variable set the saved variable to level one unlock alright so that is going to be set to Again, that, that's a boolean. We're going to set that to true. When you click this level one button, we're going to make sure that that works correctly. All right. So um, we also want to set up that we're going to lock every level above that. So we're going to make all those other ones uninteractable. So uh, there is something called a for loop, which if you remember when we went the for each loop, um, that was for game objects. This is for um, uh, items in a sequence. Uh, so we're going to start on number two and we're going to go all the way to number five and we're going to step up by one. <clears throat> the reason why it's five and not four is because if it was said four it would stop on four and four would still be interactable. We want we want to start on number two. This one is off, that one's off, that one's off and since it doesn't have a number five that's where it's going to stop. If you had five levels, that would have to be six. If you had six levels, that would have to be seven. So it's always going to stop one, uh, one level up. Um, and then we are going to make this set the save variable to saved. And uh, what variable are we going to set to uh, not saved? Well, we're going to have that concat string and this is going to be 
actually three different arguments because we need it to run three different ways. So we need that to go an argument one. So what this is going to do, it's going to have two parts to it. It's going to have the first part, which is going to be a string level. The second part is going to be the second half of that string. Whoops. To unlocked. So level what is unlocked. And we need that to be not true. So we're going to set that variable to false. So we get a boolean and we leave it unchecked to make it false. And that should be uh, what we need. So this is going to be unlocking level one. Uh, new game unlocks level one. And this is going to be new game locks rest of levels. So uh, this should work if we did this correctly. We just need one more. We have one more button to worry about, and that is the quit button. And this is really super duper easy. When you go to the quit, just do a new flow machine, set it to embed, and inside that, we're going to do um, on button click, button click of yourself. When something clicks you, just quit application. All right, so let's try it out and let's see if that works the way that we need it to. Hopefully I did everything correctly. If not, we'll see if we can go back and fix it. I'm getting really sleepy, so uh, I hope it's right. <laughs> okay, since we've already played all the levels, all those levels are set to unlock. We need level one to go to level one, and that does that. So let's go back to menu. We need level two to go level two. It does that, go to the menu, level three. Okay, level four. All right, so that does what it needs to do. Now, we've unlocked all those levels. Let's see if that aspect works. All right, new game sets all that to locked. So let's go to level one. Let's go beat the level. And now, level two's unlocked, but not three and four. That's good. Okay, let's go over here and get the key. Yep. Excellent. Let's see if that works. Level three's unlocked, but not level four. Awesome, awesome. Okay, get off me pump. Back up. All right. Level four should now be unlocked. And I believe that when you beat level four, wow, it should take me back to the main menu. And it does. All right. So when you hit the quit application, that should quit. And that is the complete um, tutorial. Um, I, I, that might be all you were looking for. What I'd like to do is I'd like to add to this game, just put my own little twist on it, not follow somebody else's tutorial. I want to kind of get my own uh, tweaks on there uh, and run into my own challenges and learn how to, to, to generate my own code. So um, if, you, if you're interested in that, just uh, wait for the next video, and I'll see you there. If not, thanks for joining me, and hopefully uh, this was instructional. For you, uh, I don't know, certainly learned a lot trying to be in the position of teaching it. So if you think I did a terrible job, man, make your own video. <laughs> but if not, thanks for joining me. And uh, hit me up on Discord if you need uh, some help. My name is Megahertz on uh, the Bolt Discord. So uh, I don't know that I can help you, but I can certainly point you in the direction of somebody that can figure it out. All right, thanks. Have a good day.